can we say here that uh, as you rightly pointed out right from the history of chanting vedas coming down to ragdari sangeet in dhrupad we have four banis yes and gharana concept or the name uh, started uh, from when khayal came into existence yes 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 when we we started singing khayal initially we did not have gharanas this is another thing so origin of gharana is also important or uh, it has the relation with the khayal as we rightly know initially dhrupad was sung in a slightly different way there was slightly deviation at one point prior to that the banis were strictly followed but the time came say near about mamacha rangle's regime uh, that those people started thinking in a different way that for the last 300 years we have been singing the same same dhrupad in a same style so naturally the artist who is always free about his thoughts he thought why should i not create something else something new and in that attempt khayal came into existence another political reason is the moguls were the emperors they ruled over the country and all the singers they were employed in the court of akbar and then shah jahan and babar and so many other thing aurangzeb like that so while serving in the court they ought to do some changes in their singing pattern so persian music had the influence on indian original music or indian music so persian music was mixed up their style was mixed up and something new started coming up slowly slowly so fusion is not a new concept we say that khayal is slightly fusion so first uh, intermixing or mingling of these things created one different form of dhrupad and that was called as mundi dhrupad as we believe that dhrupad did not have any mukhda mundi means mukhda initially it had no mukhda but somebody started putting that mukhda to dhrupad and those dhrupad were called as mundi dhrupad and that was a new form and this new form uh, became popular and where from this mundi came it is actually from qawwali qawwali was a form which was very popular at that time all these qawwals used to sing uh, in the uh, mosque uh, there they used to sing uh, that was called as khankah in khankah they used to sing the, the prayer of uh, prayer to allah and that was called as qawwali and qawwali and uh, different forms were there and that was very mesmerizing the thing is very attractive very mesmerizing you get involved entangled in all this process and then people started liking that naturally artist had to change their own system of singing drupad because drupad performance is there nobody will be there but qawwali is there so many people are going there so artist thought this is a good thing why should i not adopt that thing in my singing and those singer that that happened in uh, 1700 means beginning of the 18th century first thing mamma sharangile was that time the emperor and he was a open minded person he was fond of music he was called as rangila and then rangila mamma sha said hey, why don't you do something new this folk music is very good this is qawwali is very good this is another form that is also good why should we not mix these and from there this uh, uh, mingling of this system started and that is done by for the first time 
by Sadaranga. Sadaranga went to Lucknow and in Lucknow he heard Thumri and Thumri was so attractive and uh, and the shringar was the main stay of that particular form and people in hundreds they used to go and attend the thumri they used to go on kothi and then listen and so beautiful tunes and with the dance and all this thing so attractive he 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 started first attempt and he composed one uh, one composition which was na- either not uh, thumri and nor dhrupad it was the in between so that was the beginning of this thing and then afterwards when it became popular he composed khayal and th- for that he employed the singers those were kawals that's why this particular uh, system started from kawal bachche gharana <laughs> 